So I first became aware of CASA through Jack and Jill of America, my Central New Jersey chapter. We do a holiday toy drive in partnership with CASA. And through that, I became aware of the organization and a little bit about their mission and vision and values and realized, wow, what a great organization. And I wanted an opportunity to do something more. There was a posting on Facebook looking for volunteers. Specifically at that time, I was interested in being an advocate, but I had other women who I knew on my uh, in my Jack and Jill chapter who are also a part of CASA and volunteered with CASA, and I was informed of a board opportunity. So I said, okay, let me take a look. And at that point, I said, this, is, this would be great. This is something that I can definitely do. Sounds wonderful, learned a little bit more, and went through the whole process, and here I am. I grew up next door to a foster home and they were my playmates. And it's not, again, something that I even gave thought to until maybe very recently while I was involved with CASA. Like, wow, I grew up next door to boys and girls who were in foster care. I don't know whether or not they had a CASA or anything of that sort at the time. But one thing I always remembered is they always spoke of their parents and they spoke of their parents lovingly and how much they desired to be with their parents. And most of them didn't end up being with their parents ultimately because they were there for extended times. And we had great times and growing up, had great conversations and I learned a lot about them, but it kind of gave me a sense, a better sense in terms of not being so far removed as a board member to where I can understand and empathize at another level. And that's some of the experience that I bring and some of the heart that I bring in wanting to be a part of CASA. I think CASA has a strong opportunity and executes on that to be leaders in our community, to show people how it's done, essentially. And one thing that I think is very important to make note of is aside from the fact that we want to have representation of the population and children that we serve, it's also important to embrace allowing people to be their authentic self. One thing I can say for myself that makes me really appreciate CASA and the leadership is that I can bring my whole self to the board meetings and I can show up 100% as me, not feeling in any way that I have to assimilate or I have to you know, push myself down a little bit in order to be a part of the group. I can speak up, I can say what I feel based upon my personal experience and, and it's received, it's digested, it's appreciated, it's accepted and that's hugely important because it's easy to bring about diversity, if you will, in pure numbers and appearance, but is it always so easy for organizations to provide that culture and that environment where someone can bring their whole self and it be received, appreciated, and respected? And I think that's something that CASA definitely executes on very well, and I appreciate it to the hills. Talking about respect and racial diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's merely treating people, and we say it often, it's very simple, treating people the way you want to be treated, right? You don't have to agree with everything that I say and do. You don't have to like it, but respecting me and my ability and my right to be in a space and to live my life on my terms should exist. It should be a thing that we all embrace. Even with young children, when there's been a lot of conversations about anti-racism. And my thought is always, we wanna teach our children to be empathetic and we wanna teach our children to be respectful. We don't need to complicate this because it's not that complicated. It becomes complicated when we infuse things into the minds of children and other people that wasn't ever there. We need to just purely say, you know what? Be, be aware, right? Don't be, we don't want to be oblivious. Be aware, be mindful of what's going on around us. As a black woman, I have faced my share of, you know, 
bias. I have faced my share of racially tense and racially motivated, if you will, situations that have left me feeling a little, you know, frustrated. But at the same time, I still have to live in this world. I still have to raise my children in this world. And my goal is to help people to understand that while it's not always easy for me, what you can do to be an ally and support me and those who look like me and others who have been marginalized is to, you know, be aware and speak up and teach your children and speak with those around you about being respectful and being kind. That's all. You don't have to agree. You don't have to like it. Just be respectful, be kind, and be empathetic. We can simplify this on so many levels. I can speak for myself personally, right? And my experiences and the things that I have seen around me and for my loved ones as well. There tends to be going back to the whole respect thing a lack of respect for my humanness and my right to be here. If we can get to that place, right, which I think in our little microcosm, uh, in the CASA Shaw board and with the leadership and just the CASA community in general, we have reached that level where we can have those conversations and be respectful of everybody. At the same time, in the macro world, we have not gotten there as we very well know and so I think you know we've all seen what's going on in the media around the world even as it pertains to people of color and, and it's shameful it's unfortunate and the best that we can do as a board as leadership in CASA is to continue to model what this should look like for the broader community for the surrounding community we may or may not reach the broader world, but we can start small where we are and work on our community to be representative of what those dynamics should look like. Uh, I don't expect that anything you know, monumental will happen in my lifetime, but I do hope that for my children's sake and perhaps for my future grandchildren that I can be a contributor to making things better by voicing my concerns by sharing with those who care to listen because that tends to be another thing as well. Sometimes it's difficult to share your heart and to share your vulnerabilities and to share your experiences. For me, particularly as a black woman, when you're not so sure that the people that you're sharing with even care or want to hear. Uh, and at times that can be very, again, frustrating and you wonder, was it even worthwhile? Did I even spend my time wisely in, in doing whatever sharing and discussion that I have? Uh, but I think for me, CASA has embraced me, has embraced others like me and given us an opportunity to serve, but also an opportunity to be our whole and authentic selves. And I, and I love that very much about CASA Shaw. So I think ultimately for us to get to a place where we really want to be as a community, as a country, as a world, we really have to work within the spaces in which we have an opportunity to serve, to play, to be. And that might be our family, our friend circles, and just educating ourselves so that when we have, when the opportunity arise or or the necessary moment arrives where we need to educate someone else, we feel informed and empowered to do so. Because I think those small opportunities to impact change can often be the most impactful. So it's like having a little army of people who have the information, who also are empathetic and have that value system of respecting other people then they can then take the information that they have and kind of deposit that into their friends, their family, their children, so that we have other little informants who are going around and spreading the word as well. Because I think that's where the 
the most impact is going to happen. It's going to happen when you have a friend or a family member who is willing to share with you and explain to you and help you understand so that you get to a place to embrace diversity, equity, inclusion, and knowing that it's super important for people, all people, uh, regardless of their race, um, sexual orientation, everybody all with all of their experiences to be able to come out and be their complete and full authentic self every day, all day. And always remember that you can change a child's story.